it's becoming quite a kind of you know to, uh, to have thing at the moment these wine pre preservation systems for for uh, 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 all sorts of different reasons. I mean, I think at the end of the day, um, if you're working in a restaurant, you're working, uh, you're trying to deliver the best that you can to your customers. It's all about um, giving them the best service. And sometimes with a machine like this, you are giving them the very best service. You know, in lots of different reasons. I mean, first of all. The, the, the main thing is you're keeping that wine nice and fresh and well preserved and just the way that it was when you opened it. Um, secondly, it's keeping it at a great temperature, a great serving temperature. It's a really important thing for me to serve wines at the correct temperature. I think that's very important. And thirdly, I mean, you can really put in some... I mean, this kind of machine, I wouldn't put in all your kind of day-to-day -day house wines, the things that you turn over a lot. This kind of machine wants to have some special wines in it. So you want to have some top-end wines, some expensive wines, some wines that you're not going to sell in one one session, you're not going to sell in one, it might take you a week, it might take you two weeks to serve it. So some really top end stuff, some stuff that your customers probably wouldn't order a bottle of but would be really interested to try a glass of it. Um, and that's what, what you're doing there, is you're just giving an extra level of customer service to them by giving them that option of trying something very special. Uh, I mean obviously the first way is wastage, you won't get any wastage on this. You know, obviously you're going to keep uh, you're going to keep the wines at a good temperature. You're going to keep them under a blanket of nitrogen, which means that your wines aren't going to spoil. Um, and secondly, your measures. You know, you're going to you're going to be measuring that in exactly the kind of measure that you want to want to pour. So whether it's six glasses at one to five milliliters, so you won't get any measure like that. You won't get any over pour, which is often a big problem in restaurants. You get people who are a little bit too zealous, uh, a little bit too generous. Your staff are a bit too generous with your customers, which is a good thing. Um, but at the end of the month, you know, you might end up being, you know, five or six bottles down of a certain wine and you think that what's happening here and really it's just down to overpour. I've seen this before in restaurants many times um, and usually if you're serving nice wine in a nice big glass and it should only be filled halfway, sometimes the staff feel, oh, that's a bit mean. So what they do is they put in an extra little bit and, and over time that adds up. So cost control, portion control is really important. And, and the really fun thing with the, with a machine like this is that you can kind of be quite bespoke in the wines that you're doing. So you can you can have a customer in that really wants to try a very special wine, and you can open it then and there, and you're going to be quite um, happy in the fact that you've opened an expensive bottle of wine, and you can stick it in a machine like this, and it's still going to be around for a good week or two weeks after that. So um, it makes you be able to be able to play, and you know really be able to give that extra level of custom, customer service, which is great. Um, and it means that when you're doing these kind of expensive wines that your per whoever's looking after your wine program, whoever's looking after your cellar, um, it, it is going to be quite reassured that the wine's going to be kept, kept and served in a good condition. And when you, you have a machine like this, I mean, this works as a sales tool in itself. I mean, when you look at it, it's a beautiful looking machine, it's lovely lit, um, it looks very professional. The kind of thing that when your customers come in, if your bar, which normally is close to the reception area, you know, your customers will come in, this will be one of the first things that they see. So it's going to tell them several things. First of all, it's going to tell them that you, you obviously take your wine service very, very seriously. You know, you've invested in a, a, a state-of-the-art, highly technological piece of equipment like this, and it's all down to making their dining experience better which is really what you're doing with this. You're, you're, you're saying to them, we take our wine seriously, we're going to give you some really good, hard to find, top range wines, um, and we're going to serve them to you in perfect condition. Um, I've worked in restaurants where people open expensive bottles and then they write the date that the bottle was opened on the label, and people are just not that villagin, you know, they, um, they, they, they will serve glasses of wine and I've seen it many times that are past the best and sometimes the customers realize and sometimes they don't but if you're spending a lot of money on an expensive glass of wine you know you need it to be right um, a great thing with these machines as well is that they can be really constructed very bespoke so depending what style of wine a wine bar or restaurant or bistro that you have um, this machine can be adapted to fit into your surroundings so they can change the design of it Basically, it will always stay the same, but it can come in any color that you like. It can come with a wooden finish to it. It can come with the back area in a, a just in glass, so you can see through the machine if it's on an island area in the bar or bistro. Um, so, very flexible. So, it will really sort of merge into your restaurant and not look out of place in, a, in an old-fashioned style of restaurant, a traditional bistro. Um, so, they've really got all bases covered, I think.